I'm Sue Kay and welcome to my YouTube channel. This week's episode, we shall learn how to cook wonton mee from scratch. Firstly, we shall prepare the wonton filling. Mix the following ingredients in a bowl. Mix well. To start off, put 1 teaspoon of pork mixture in the middle of the wrapper. Fold into half and seal firmly with water. Next, bring the two corners together. Apply some water and squeeze to seal. Repeat until all the pork mixture is used up. Here are the ingredients needed to make char siu. To marinate the skinless pork belly, we need 2 tablespoons of garlic, 1 half teaspoon of pepper, 1 teaspoon of 5 spice powder. Next, drizzle 1 tablespoon of soy sauce, followed by 1 tablespoon of oyster sauce, add in 1 teaspoon of dark thick soy sauce, and 1 tablespoon of honey. Next, put in 2 pieces of fermented red bean curd. Mix well both sides. And we add in 100 gram of sugar. Coat the sauce mixture evenly on both sides. Store the pork in an airtight container and marinate overnight in the fridge. Cut the meat into two long strips and place them in a foil lined tray. Bake the pork belly at 200 degrees for 15 minutes. Then turn the pork belly over and continue baking for another 15 minutes or less. Once the meat is nicely charred, remove the tray from the oven. Set aside to cool. Here's what we need for the sauce and garnishing. First, we need half a tablespoon of soy sauce, one teaspoon of sesame oil, Next, add in 1 tablespoon of thick dark soy sauce. And 
some salt to taste. Next, add in half a teaspoon of sugar. Stir the sauce well and set aside. Bring a large pot of water to boil. Next, blanch the choy sum stem followed by the leaves. Once cooked, remove the vegetables and drain them. We shall cook the wonton in batch for 1-2 minutes. Drain well and set aside. Cook one bundle of noodle in boiling water for 30 seconds or until done. Drain noodle and run through under cold running water for 5 seconds. Then dip again in boiling water for 5 seconds. Toss noodle with the sauce. Garnish with choy sum and wontons. Slice the baked char siu. Garnish the noodle with a sliced char siu. Here it is, our home cooked wonton mee. Enjoy a meal! If you like this video, do like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Bye.